Good morning, fish people. I'm Alan Norris from Fish on TV. It is Tuesday, the 5th of October, and um, today you are joining me at um, Millionaire Mix Woodhouse Grange, um, and we are fishing the Ghost Pond. It's only a small pond, normally, there's too many of us, but there's quite a few gone on away on a week's fishing. Um, with a couple off poorly, some away are doing other bits and bobs, so I've about nine or ten off. So today, the ghost pond, it's only a small pond, it's every other peg, there's 20 odd pegs on there, um, it's a couple missed on corners, and there's only 11 of us today. So it's I'm not saying it's a full pond, but it's actually ideal for like 11 or 12, possibly 13. It's a push if you want in every other peg, you know. So. It's only a small pond, there's some lovely carp in there, but there's also lots of F1s. If you remember last time, it was a lot warmer than it is today. Uh, I think I won the match with about £160, £150, I, I can't remember. But things are changing, how cold it was, it, it was about, it's, it was 8 degrees, 7 or 8 degrees this morning. It is 9 degrees at the minute. The weather looks okay, but we are due a shed load of rain, and it's been, we've had a lot of rain, a lot of rain of late, should I say, and it has affected the fishing a little bit at certain venues, especially Southfield, good grief, it really affected that place for the Feeder King final, it just completely shut down into place, but that just shows you how the weather affects places. Again, I keep, I, one or two people saying, no, you make excuses. They are not excuses, folks. You don't want me turning up, fishing and just going, well, I've come fifth today, thanks for coming. You don't want that. It's my opinion on what I think has affected, whether it's been a decent area, not so decent area, whether it's the weather, is it too shallow? You know, just things, that, my perspective on what I actually think is happening. And it's to sort of give you the information um, to see, you know, so if you come and visit these places, you might sort of think, oh, well, this is what happened when Nosh was there, and, and, and you might come up with different ideas about how to approach that fishery, and that is all these in, the information is about. And one of my customers, actually, one of my viewers say, been watching all your videos, you seem to make a lot of excuses. End of. <laughs> He's entitled to his opinion, but trust me, they are not excuses. You have days where you draw well, days where you draw bad and, and sometimes you know officially can fish quite hard like I said earlier so they're not excuses they are just the facts of the day today nice this morning it was horrible it's been raining all night last night it's a lot colder it will affect the fishing will there be still shallow not too sure so my tactics today I'm going to still set some shallow rigs up um, but I'll be having a slow negative slow fall on the deck and a positive one um see I, I, i've drawn peg 10. don't know whether it's a good area or not i've only fished it twice i'm at the top end of the lake we'll just have to see how it goes um i've no idea i, I couldn't tell you it's a good or a bad peg so i've just pegged it out so there's a bit of room and we'll just see how we get on so it has been fishing well we shall see how well it fishes today with, with this changing weather. And another thing that's going to happen, a couple of days time, it's 20 degrees again. These fish must think, wonder what the hell's going on. Right, see you on the bank. Right, yeah, folks, we're on peg 12. And at the side of me, here we go, look. We've got the lovely, horrible bloke himself. He's hoping I get bittered out today. <laughs> look at him with something. He's just had a little bit as well, haven't you, Soz? Little silver. I've had two skimmers. <laughs> you haven't? You've had one? I've just had another. Oh, he's had two. He's had, look, he's always arguing, isn't he? And we've got Scotty at side of him, Bluey at side of him there. And as we're going round, we've got Brian, Jazz, Andy, Paul, Mick Smith, and little Barry there. And this is my peg. And I've done a top two and three. I'm going out here. I'm going to start off on pellet, I think, and I'm going to feed a, a shallow line down here on maggot, and then obviously I've got margins down here as well that I can go into as well. It's as simple as that for me today, no point in having it complicated. Bait tray, 
is just because I'm late as, as, again, so it's going to be mainly four mils, a few soft pellets with a few uh, slightly bigger hookers, and maggots for sure. That's pretty much it, me darling. I didn't want that, and that's it. So, so we're going to start off uh, on the top, top two and three on the deck. I'm going to start with a slow fall to start with and just see how it progresses from there. Um, we're expecting some rain as you can see, look. Clouds coming over. So I've got the brolly at the ready. I've got three shallow rigs, two deck rigs and margin rig and that is it. So let me get fishing. Um, I can't promise how much footage I'll get because the microphone on my wireless go is not charging properly so might not be as much um, as much action and camera work as normal so Paul's just had a small F1 one or two fish coming out and saws look here we go look he's into another little skimmer take it he's fishing maggot then are you soz? you're fishing maggot soz? <laughs> I won't tell you a thing. Right, let me get fishing. Let's see how we get on. Right then, folks. I've not been able to get any filming done whatsoever because of weather. The weather's been absolutely awful. We're three hours in. There's fish being caught all over, mixed into one over there. I went out on my... I said top two and three. It was top two and four to start with. And I started off on the negative rig. And I did have one or two. And then it went funny. I tried a different rig. I've been priming the uh, maggot line down here. And I did have one or two small F1s, but there were a lot of rud. A lot of rud knocking about. But accidentally, just dangling a pellet down here, I hooked into an F1. I tried it shallow, but it, it, I think it was just a rogue one. But I just thought, well, there's F1s just in front of me as well here, especially over those maggots I've been putting in. And um, I've really plumbed up for this line just in front of me, just over where I've been throwing my, my maggots, top two and three years. And I've had quite a bit of success. The, the maggot man, I've, I've had about £30. I just missed a bite there. The maggot man has been bagging down there and been doing well. Soz has been catching. Me and Soz are about the same. We've actually got a pound on it. He's challenging me to a pound. I'm not sure how long this microphone will last because it's just not it's just not charging at all. But uh, floats dotted right down. They are delicate little bites again. Right. Didn't realise I left my old battery in. I've just had a good gin. wind has just changed direction I'm going to get off my seat now to, to cast them in put a few in there as well to keep it tight but I, um, I did try maggot shell and I had, I had one or two F1s but a lot a lot of small roach and rud and I've ended up coming on this line here just in front of me top two and three and I've been uh, tapping a few pellets in if I want it wanting the bait nice and tight and then to make a bit of noise I've been throwing them in by hand and it does promote a bite that just missed it a little bit there's a lot, lot of small fish there like I said I just had a good gin I had one or two nice F1s but everybody's catching but it's not prolific I think the maggot man he's had he had £35 an hour ago so he's doing quite well down there apparently the tiny little bites he said this wind has just completely changed direction. It were it was behind before. Now it's blowing this way. It was blowing that way. Um, so I'm doing okay. I mean, it's, the weather's been it's been, it's been felt like Karate Kid taking his coat on, coat off, coat on, coat off. It's been umbrella up, umbrella down, umbrella up. It's been un unreal. And I don't want this wind changing direction because if it rains now, it goes straight into my face. So it's 4mm pellet. On the deck, it's the positive rig. 
I had more success on a slow sinking rig further out. And now, now, now the camera's on. I have been getting by, it's fairly quick here. I've only had one decent F1. Now has that wind change of direction? Is that going to affect the way the fishing's been here? I don't know. We'll see. And it can be really prolific on this lake, but like I say now the weather has really changed. It's going into it's trying to get into winter mode. Until a bit later on this week it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be red hot. Now I don't know where it is since since the wind's changed. There we go. Direction. The float seems to be. Oh, oh I thought it would come off. It's just changed direction really quick. And that actually pulled my pole tip down before I could really have to strike. And it, that's not that's the first time it's happened. There've been delicate little bites. Fat F1. Looks like it's full of spawn, that. Yeah, oh my goodness. Needs to get rid of that, does this F1? Look at that. That's not very nice, is it? And to top it off, it's foul out. <laughs> it's thin. I'll get that one back in there. I think it's a pound of fish and half a pound of uh, spawn. So t I've got 20 out of my clicker, but I think I've missed a couple of about 30 pound-ish. The sauce have just had a nice one. Been a bit more sauce today. If he's, if he's not bagging it, it he doesn't talk much. We were full of beans this morning. <laughs> I think he thinks I'm beating him. But we've had this before, haven't we? I noticed one of these fish that they had were a lot bigger than the fish I had catch. A bit like when I be David Wood the other day. I know I'd had more fish than him, but the size of his fish, somebody's mentioned it here today when I when saw it. a photograph. Right, so that's where we are with the match. And Barry, Barry's doing alright, he's just fishing like top kitten one, I think. Oh, too far. Barry's just fishing top kit and one, and he's uh, he's had some nice fish as well as Barry. As you can see, he's got one on now. But there's been no real signs of him wanting it shallow. I'm sure you get one or two, but I don't think it's worth persisting trying to get them shallow all day today. Yeah, my floats uh, just needs to be dragging under a bit. It won't like that earlier. I have to lift my back shell, that's better. Ooh, tiny little bite. Yeah, Barry's into a nice one. So we'll just see if we can get one. Oh, he's just missed it as, uh, as Barry. And the soz is just into one as well, so there's, there's fish being caught, but like I said, they're not massive fish, so I don't think anybody's got, got a great deal of weight. This pole's blowing all over it all now. Oh, there we go, look at that, I just moved, don't want that, that's not a very good presentation. There we go. Tiny little bite. Oh. Now these is what's been pestering us a little bit, and this is what ruined the maggot theory. Those bloody things. Good gin. I've just had one twice size of that. It's could be a record good gin. Oh, you're not supposed to throw any fish in, but you get that disappointed when you get them, don't you? So I'll try and get some footage. Like I say, it's it's clouds everywhere. 
I think it's going to be a close match today. I've got a feeling. I mean, it's only like last week there were a couple of hundred pound caught. Oh, that's not happening today for certain. I don't care who you are. I think if you were. Uh, I think today. I'm guessing. I think a really good weight today would be about eighty pound. Because it has been, you know, there's been a massive change in weather. It's not freezing, but as we're saying, you know, touching water and, oh, and we're saying, oh, water's cold, and we're all trying to make excuses. <laughs> but it's, it's just a fact; it does affect the fishing. All this water that's gone in is definitely affecting the fishing because, I mean. Everybody were bagging instantly last time we came here. Everybody. I'll just tap them in from there. Oh, Michael's got to X. Mick Smith is swearing. Steady on, Mick, steady on. Can't understand what first word was, but it was something sake. For something sake, I think he said. Oh, I nearly struck then. It was a liner more than anything. But yeah, I've got my float dotted right down because they are tiny little bites. Is it going to go again? Because I think a lot of the missed bites that I've been getting have been those gudging. Right then, folks, that's your update. We shall see how we get on. And I'll give you updates if I can. If the weather kind to me and get a bit of footage oh I think that was a little left one right there we go folks I've uh, just been adjusting my float so we check the depth and it's on the right so I just don't know why it's going a bit lower bumped out a one I've just hooked into this it feels a slightly better F1 so everybody's still catching one or two Rook on today. And when I've been getting to this stage, lifting them up and you put a bit more pressure on, I've had a few hook pulls out. And when I have been unhooking them, they're just right on the edge of the top lip, which is perfect. And that's that one never going to come out. That was lovely. That one nicely hooked right in the fat bit top lip again so that tells me everything should be okay the rig set up all right right oh bob another oh i don't know how big that one i put up to 30 on my clicker but i think i've got a little bit more because i did get quite a lot of silvers i didn't really count there's some nice ropes coming out actually so i've done a handful casting in i'll just tighten this this cast up a a little bit or ship out should I say and this seems to be the best line at the minute it's been steady away with nobody catching prolifically I'm not in a rush to keep swapping and changing to try and make more fish appear I'm quite happy looking at what's being caught I'm quite happy catching what I'm catching and just have to hope that I can just get one or two more and the rest of them because I can't see the maggot man but it sounds like he's it sounds like he's doing okay but it's hard to tell when you can't see anybody as you can see my poles wafting everywhere some right gusts coming through I can't believe it. I just put a number 11 on and it hadn't half dotted it down I had a number 9 on that where well, the float was at perfect that's better than that there we go. Because when I add it a little bit higher, you don't strike if the float moves. But when it's dotted right down, it disappears so you strike and it's there's hardly any movement on it whatsoever. So just a little tip there. Get it as low as you can, especially with these F1s, because they are finicky little baggers. So we 
we're doing all right. I think we've got some pressure on Saul's. Oh, he's, what's he doing? What is Saul's doing? Is he, is he changing tactics? I'm not sure. Oh, he's doing something. He's got his glasses on. I mean, that's the thing at all. <laughs> it's low light now. <laughs> I definitely need my glasses. Oh dear, it's crap being older, isn't it? Right, there we go, that's what I'm doing. Let's keep getting some more in the net. Can't get a word out of Saul. He's not happy. He's fed up of listening to me now. He just bumped out of one as well. I think it was far looked when it when I saw it. Just lifting it up and up just pulled out. Nearly got a bird's nest. But I managed to get out of it and it's just starting to rain again. There are quite loads of fish, but I just wish they were a little bit bigger. It's becoming a bit of a pain. Looks like Brolly's going to have to go up again now. Right, there we go. Right. A little bit of mare with rain and stuff. And Saws has he's not been talking on Saws, but he's had three really nice fish, three or four. And all of a sudden he's turned around and told me to get my ribs ready. He started catching out ten minutes without a fish. I bumped out of a couple. This wind's becoming a bit of a pain now. Uh, Mick Smith over there is catching quite well. Paul's catching. I've had a bit of a lean period. Um, and I've just two puttings, I've had two fish on and got one out. Been a bit been a bit funny and this uh, it's hard keeping them. when I'm throwing them by hand with this wind now, it's difficult keeping them accurate, so I am tapping more in, but I was getting more response when I was chucking them, but it's, it's blowing really, right gusts, and sometimes pellets just, even if I throw them to the left, I'm getting indications, I think they're them gudging, and they're really, they're just going anywhere, it's, it's difficult, so I have to wait while the wind drops a little bit, and then <laughs> throw some pellets in. I was catching better when I was hooking one, when I hook into one and throw my pellets where the swirl was, so in that, in the area that I'm fishing and it was working quite well that. I managed to do it on the last cast. There we go. And when I was into that rhythm, so now the wind's just, oh, it's just pulled out, bloody thing. Get some pellets out there. And Well, they went fairly soon. I threw them to the left, but they've been blowing like two yards to the right sometimes. So it's not ideal for keeping your swim tight, your feed tight. But I've, I've lost. I mean, it don't worry me that, I, that you pull out of a lot of F1s. It's just the nature of. I think I've mentioned it before. It's just what happens with F1s. I've lost about, bumped off like that. Probably about 15 or 16 fish. It didn't feel like the biggest one, but you just don't want to, you don't want to be losing them, do you? So it is a, it's a lighter, thinner hook, this, so it tends to happen a little bit more. When I, when I was catching on the KKMBs, I hardly lost any. Maybe I should have them on. I've, I've put a KKMB on. I've been feeding this with pellets down here. And I'm going to, and I'm, I'm not aiming for big carp, I'm, I'm, go I'm going for F1s down there. Seems like a good gym bite. See that? I had an indication there on the way down. I might actually try a shallow rig because that, that was an indication on the way down that. First time it's happened. Eee, typical. Normally I'd have had a, another bite by now, well another fish. It's just, just, just going through a bit of a funny period at the minute and Paul's, well it looks like he's hooking into margin fish now, Paul. Yeah, they're better fish, that's what he's after. Some bigger, there's some bigger fish in here. Oh, 
have a look and see what he's got. So there you go, folks. Sosa's upbeat about it all now because he's catching. I'm having periods where I'll have one or two and then I'll lose one or two. So there we go, folks. I'll try and keep get a bit of footage, a bit more footage for you. This has been difficult today. And I just hope the microphones last to the end of the match. We'll just miss another out there. Over and out. Just another one. Well, it is. It's strange. I heard some lads mentioned in it earlier. I, I didn't really have too much of it this morning. They've just felt like little gudgeon, but I've bumped out of strike and bumped immediately out of it. I don't know what that's all about. Not sure. You see, tiddly little fish like that I'm getting. The ones that I've seen Soz catch have been like two and three pound. It's like deja vu, isn't it, this? So I've just thrown a handful, well not a handful, a dozen or so, a dozen of 15 pellets. They seem to be wanting a few still. I know it's a lot colder, but... And like I said, I've got my coat on and... I know it's a lot colder, but they're still... The water's not gone absolutely freezing yet. It's a lot colder than it has been, but... Um, they're still wanting some snap. They've got to be stocking up for, for winter now, surely. You'd think they'd be feeding really aggressive, but it, a little indication on the way down slightly. Again, that second one I've had today. There we go. There we go. Oh, and wind blew out of the way then. That's I like it. So I leave my pole in just as a mark, just to give it a rough idea. That's, I don't know, I don't know I'm catching quite well, that's what I was doing. But since this wind's got up, it's been a lot, a lot more difficult. As you see, oh. Right, Broly knocked, knocked everything over and I've just lost that fish. Right, let me get it sorted. Broly's going again. That's how strong wind is. Unbelievably, folks. Um, <laughs> I've actually got this shallow. I noticed a couple of girls who were taking it two or three times on trot. So I've just got out of my shallow rig. Slow sinker, and uh, I've got one, and it's raining as well. Not perfect conditions, but we'll take it. I'm going to have to cover. No more footage with this rain, so we're after. Come the camera up, rally back up. Just can't write it, can you? It's been hard work, this.
Lanfish people, it's a few days later. As you can see, unshaven, uh, do we shave tonight? Everything's going back slowly. Right, today, or should I say the other day, at Woodhouse Grange on the ghost pond. There weren't a lot of us there, but it's just the right amount for that, for that pond. With the weather being how it was, it was very, just two secs, bit of muck on there, but it was very, very difficult getting the footage that I wanted. I did warn you that the microphone might pack in, it just wouldn't charge up at all. Um, so I don't know, I might have got an hour out of it. So I think it's cut off at the end. So if Edley's put pictures on, it's, si it's not making excuses. I've had to send it back to road. I've bought a, another one as a spare backup. So I will have two. So if anything like this happens again, luckily you get two years warranty on the wireless go. It is a good piece of kit. Um, it's made hell of a difference to my channel, so I do apologize if we lost some sound at the end Also apologize not being able to get the footage that I wanted. It was literally Broly up broly down broly up broly down every two minutes. It was blowing a gale then it'd throw it down Very difficult, but I did manage to get some footage and it's turned out to be an okay match actually um, We all thought That they had to be on the deck with that weather. We just thought they had to be I was suspecting, I'm thinking, I wonder if they are, I got some shallow rigs set up, but you would have just never thought it with that weather, as bad as what it was. But there's one person decided to go shallow, and it's really paid off for him, and I've made a big mistake, I really have, I should have tried it earlier, it was just the weather that put me off, I just didn't think it would happen. I set two deck rigs up, one as a positive rig, one as a slow sinker. I'd got one set up a little bit further out. I think it was top top three and two, I think it was. I can't remember exactly now whether it was top three or top four. Nice depth, nice and flat. Did have a few fish off it. Fishing hard pellet. Um, and I had a few shallow rigs, which I, I did try shallow, and I got one or two shallow on Maggot, but I ended up coming a bit closer and set one up on the deck where I'd been throwing the Maggots. Um, Lost one or two, smaller hooks, finer hooks. And I just thought, I thought I'll try pellets on the deck in that spot. And I noticed on a slow, slow sinking rig, and I was getting one or two take, you know, taking it before it had settled. So I thought, right, my intention was, if I were gonna fish shallow, I'm gonna fish maggot. So I took the hook length off, the three inch hook length, and put a three inch banded pellet hook length on a shallow rig. And it was the only shallow we got to use, and that was with about an hour to go. And I put 40, just short of 45 pounds in my net in the last hour. Made a big mistake there. I've got, I mean, you can, you can think they might have turned up later on. One or two what lads said they started catching better towards the end. But one person has been catching shallow all day and he's, he's, he's smashed everybody really. And I think the way they were taking it there towards the end, it was literally one a chuck and i could have had a cracking weight today if i just if i'd have thought to do it earlier but you would have just never guessed that were going to happen so 45 just short of 45 pounds in the last hour um and i've done okay everybody's caught sort of between 50 and 60 pound it was a horrible day a horrible day to fish in so let's get on to the results there were no um no sections we just had a first second and third that day so in third position with 65 pound 90 don't forget digital scales just short of 66 pounds it is was graham scott so well done graham scott what a mighty fisherman you are and in second place with 79.60 was the maggot man and the only reason he's got 79.60 is fished cash fished caster shallow most of the day, I think he, he gave it 45 minutes an hour and then he's gone He's gone on to cast a shallow and he's ended up having to throw back. He had 65.90 in one of his nets. Easily done, I've done it twice myself there at Woodhouse Grange with those F1s and he's had 65.90 so the whole of that net went back and then he's had 79.60 on the other two nets. So a lesson learnt for him, he can't argue because I've pulled myself there at Woodhouse Grange twice for going over 60 pound 
Um, we all know the rules. You are disappointed, but it was chuffed that he actually caught so many fish, shall he's, he's, he's had a really good day's fishing, so well done, Ian. What a mighty fisherman you are. But a lesson learnt there, son. You've got to split them equally if you can. And I know it's difficult with F1, so well done, mate. You've, you've had a great day's fishing. And you did really deserve to win, as I should have done on a couple of other occasions. But unfortunately, you had your net pulled. I'm sure Soz would have loved that. And in first place, with just short of £89, where am I? 88 86 was yours truly. And like I say, 45, just £44 something in the last hour. A couple of hours of that, and it would have been close with the me and the maggot man. So... By default, I am this week's, oh boys, mightiest fisherman. I'm not saying it with too much excitement because at the end of the day, he ended catch more fish than me. And I was rather late discovering that those fish were shallow. Even though I did try and bag it and I got one or two shallow, I should have, I should have done the switch there and then. After, it was an hour and a half when I went on maggot shallow. I should have just tried pellet. Could have been a different day. It could have been a £200 day with the way they were taking it. So... There you go. Whether that'll happen next week, because I think it's coming towards the end of shallow fishing, catching aggressively. I'm sure you can still catch them shallow like we do at Apia Lakes uh, on the waggler, sort of anything between four foot and eight, nine foot deep there, where you just leave it suspended and you can get one or two fish like that. So we are coming towards the end of shallow season, going into winter. So yeah, short and sweet video, a little bit of footage, Bit of a crack with Soz. He challenged me uh, to fish for a quid, told me to get my ribs ready, and he owes me a quid. <laughs> you just love it, don't you? You've got to smash him up. He wasn't happy. So you owe me a quid, Soz. So there we go, folks. That is a very strange day's fishing at Woodhouse Grange. I'm pretty sure the only reason the other guys caught 40 and 50 and 60 pounds is because they were probably wanting it shallow but the weather was horrendous and you really didn't feel like fishing shallow in that weather, trust me. So there we go folks, hope you've enjoyed the insights to a difficult day's fishing on the ghost pond at Woodhouse Grange. So uh, where are we next week? We are at Barbara Fisheries next week. I'm sure they will be thinking there'll be shallow there as well after the way me and uh, Ian have caught shallow. Just don't know. I just don't know because it is changing big time. We shall see. So there you go, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's little video. And I hope to see you on the bank next Tuesday. So uh, until then, take care. And don't forget, guys, fish on and we'll see you pretty soon.